guys, it's Sandy. For this short wig, you will need some hair. I've got 27 pieces in the color 1B30. Some extra bit of hair left over from a previous wig that is 10 inches, again in 1B30. Mesh wig cap that is extra large because I have a big head. <laughs> Razor comb. A rat tail comb. Some scissors, any will do. Some T pins. And also a glue gun and some glue sticks. I've left the link down below. The 27 piece comes in three different sizes, large, medium and small and with a closure. I find it easier just to lay all the hair out first. So I lay out all the, the medium sizes, all the big sizes and all the small sizes and the closure. It just makes it easier for me. To start off with, I like to take a white eyeliner pencil and mark the back of my head that's where the smaller pieces will go I also like a side part so I like to mark where that will go and also where the closure is going to go I also mark from ear to ear that's where the medium pieces will go you're also going to need, need a wig head the standard wig heads just don't fit my head I have a big head so I've sort of customised this to start off with, what we're going to do is just take the smallest pieces, measure them, cut and then glue. It, it is really quite simple, you know, measure, cut, glue. Measure, cut, glue. To get the ombre effect, um, I like to put two tracks of the black followed by two tracks of the gold and then follow that pattern until we've used up all of the small pieces. So it's two tracks of the black followed by two tracks of the gold. Every now and again I like to take the rat tail comb and just comb through the hair. It gets any pieces of um, glue stuck out. The glue stick is really good if you want a quick weave. Um, it may not last as long as sewing. But you know, if you're looking for something quick, then this is all right. Once we've finished using up all the smaller pieces, we then move on to the medium sized pieces. And again, we follow the same pattern, two tracks of the black followed by two tracks of the gold. Again, come through. This is what it looks like when I finish all of the medium pieces. Now we're just going to take the larger pieces and also um, leave some space in the middle because I'm going to put the 10 inches there. And we'll, I'm just going to go around the sides and put all of the larger pieces all around. This is what it looks like once all the pieces are done. Then all that's left is just to put the closure in. I put some glue in and then just put the closure on. Be careful because the hot glue gun can be very hot. So if you need to use a rectal comb, do use it. Next, all that's left is to get the 10 inches of extra hair and just fill in that gap. Again, just measure, cut and glue. is what the wig looks like when it's all filled in and done it was getting a bit late so I had to leave it for today this is the next morning and all I'm gonna do is just take the razor comb and just start to trim the hair off I haven't shown it in this clip but off camera I also put the wig on and then trimmed the hair so just go around the whole head and just trim to get that sort of 
um, tapered in look. And this is the final result. This is what the hair looks like after I've trimmed it and styled it. If you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for more videos and don't forget to hit the notification bell it really helps me out and i really appreciate it thanks for watching bye guys